In this video, I am going to show you guys how to create a brush stroke title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. So before this tutorial starts, I want to introduce you guys to Create Pack, which is one of the amazing After Effects pack on Video Hive. Over 3600 plus fully responsive animation elements that automatically rescale for your composition, which you can preview and import with just one single click. Dozens of categories with everything you need to create some awesome motion graphics without wasting any time. Download the Create Pack from the link in the description below. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this maybe main 2020 into 1080, 29.97 FPS. You can go with 30 FPS if you want to. 10 seconds long. Looks good. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our title. So I'll call this text and hit OK. Select the text tool and then you can type in of course anything that you want. I'm going to type in brush stroke just like the example and I'm using the deep shocks font I'll mention the link down in the description actually you can download the complete project file from the description for free so that gives you a reason to like this video anyway so here we have our text I'll go into the effects and preset and type in transform because I want to skew this text a bit because I you know I just think it looks cool but in case if you want to, if you don't want to do this, you can just skip this. I'm going to keep it at minus seven, minus eight. Okay. Minus eight looks good. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be some, which is going to be a mask for our text. So I'll call this mask. Hit OK. Select the rectangle tool and you can just double click to apply or create a rectangle tool. Go into the rectangle one, rectangle path one. Unlink this and let's change the height to 250. That looks good. And I'll add an effect called turbulence displays, which is an absolute great effect to create some very cool things in After Effects. But let's change the displacement from turbulent to horizontal displacement because I just want a displacement horizontally. We're going to try to create some nice kind of a brush strokes animation. So also I'll hit S and bring down the scale of this to 90. Then I'll increase the amount all the way up to 1000 and bring down the size to five. So now you can see we get this really cool strokes at the edges and we can also increase the complexity to get a really cool look. So you can play around with the evolution in case if you want to do that. But yeah, this looks good. Let's set this to back to five and set this to high so we get some very nice and crispy edges that is looking great let's select this hit ctrl d two times to create two more copies i'm going to select the third one bring that down select the first one bring that up let's try to actually arrange them properly so I'll select the first one bring that up so first second third all right let's select them and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to align them properly so i can just zoom in to be a bit more precise and use the arrow keys. So I'll hit control shift edge to hide the layers, the control layers and using the arrow keys, I can move them closer to each other. So I'll select the third one, bring that really close. Now, I don't know if there is any other way to do this, but if you guys know any other way to do this, then do let me know in the comment section below. So right now we have this nice three strokes. Let's hit control shift H again so we can see the control layers. I'll go to around two seconds, select all the three layers, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, go back and then select the first and the third layer and holding shift, I'm going to drag it out of the comp just like so. Then select this one and drag that out of the comp to the right side there we go let's select all the keyframes hit f9 to ease, ease those keyframes go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle to the left just like so so now we have a pretty simple animation as you can see 
very nice so there we have our mask now let's go back into the main comp and drag the mask and the text just like so now we have this really nice mask as you can see let's change the track mat of the text layer to alpha mat so we get a nice track mat animation if you don't see this track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard to make it visible let's select this hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose them and let's call this maybe let's call this title mask okay and then i'm gonna add a brush stroke animation video that i have and you can of course download it from the project file so it has some basic you can see brush stroke animation and what i'm gonna do is Put it on the top of the title mask and change the track mat again to alpha mat. So we have this really cool texture for our text, right? Let's actually select this layers and hit control shift C to pre-compose this. I'm going to call this brush stroke. Actually, let's call this brush text. That makes more sense. All right. So there we go. There we have this really cool look that we were going for. Now what I can do is let's select this hit control D to duplicate it, but that is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is let's go into the main project panel, select this hit enter and just underscore it by O1 because now we need to select it and hit control D to duplicate it. So now I can drag that just like so. So now we have brush text one and brush brush <laughs> brush text two let's go into that comp and change this to none and just i'm gonna put this below so now we have something like that let's go back into the main let's select the second one go into effects and preset and add a fill so just double click to apply that up and let's give it a nice maybe a kind of an nice darker red pinkish red color that looks good and now you can see we get this really cool look that we are going for but now we need to add some more depth to this text so what i can do is let's first of all change the color of this to something like blue so we know that this is the background one select the brush text one hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second one let's rename this to shadow and i'm going to go into effects and preset and add a cc radial blur all right and one more thing that we need to add is a fill double click to apply that up let's put the fill on the top make it a nice darker maybe mar darker maroon color let's go into the cc radial blur and change the type from scratch to fading zoom let's increase the amount to around 25 and quality 50 looks good now i'm going to select the radial blur and move this point right over here just like so so we get this really nice you know shadows to create some nice depth into the scene but now let's actually i'm going to turn everything into 3d so let's make all the layers 3d and i can just select them all hit p to bring down the position and let's change the position of these two layers to maybe minus 25 should be good yeah because now when i add a new camera 50 millimeters looks good let's create a new null object as well call this cam make it 3d and also align it into the center so oh before making it 3d let's select the null object and align it into the center you can change the color so you can see it more properly i'll make this yellow now you can see the null object is into the center make it 3d and pattern the camera to this null then hit r to bring down the rotation properties and now i can you know rotate it and now you can see we get some really nice depth into the text which looks super cool so let's go to two seconds let's bring them down to zero create a keyframe on the x rotation and the y rotation select those keyframes bring them to the start just like so so let's rotate the y rotation by let's go with 18 degrees and the uh, x rotation by minus 21 because i you know i came out with this angle and i think this looks super cool so if i just set this to half you can see this looking pretty cool i'll select the keyframes and 
hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's create a nice curve holding shift. I can just drag this. Let's see what we have. That is looking super cool, I think. Really nice. Let's close them up. And now one more thing that I like to do is let's create a new null object so we can actually add some nice handheld camera movement to this by adding some wiggle. So I'll call this wiggle. Okay. Parent this actually. Let's again center this up. Make it 3D and parent the cam control null object to the wiggle. Hit P to bring another position. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch to add an expression. So I'm going to add wiggle. Open and close parentheses and inside them I'm going to add value of maybe 2 comma 3 should work for now. So let's actually check that out. I'll pretty quickly see the RAM preview. That is looking good but I think 3 is a bit too much. Maybe 2 is a bit too much. I'll make that 3. No. Let's actually go with 2 comma 2 I think. Now adding this wiggle gives a really nice handheld camera movement which I think looks pretty cool. And finally, we, now we are mostly done with this animation but let's add a simple you know kind of a twist to this. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Call this, um, let's call this twist. <laughs> and I'll go to add around somewhere there hold alt and open square bracket to crop that up and then go maybe somewhere around there alt and close square bracket to cut that up and and on this adjustment layer first of all i'm going to add a transform effect double click to apply that up let's um increase the scale height to around 150 that looks good Let's go ahead in effects and preset and add some sharp into this. Let's make it around 20. Okay. And then I'm going to add a 3D glass. Double click to apply that up. And in the left view, let's select our um, twist layer that we have. Let's go into the 3D view and set this to balance color red blue. So you can see we get some really crazy look maybe I need to place the transform below I think that would work much better and then I can play around actually with the scene conversion you can see to get a really cool RGB effect so I'll change the scene conversion to around maybe six six is a bit too much let's go with four and four on the vertical alignment as well so I think this looks pretty sick and finally, I'll add an optics compensation. Let's increase that up. And also one more thing that we could add is an invert. I'm not really sure how this would look, but let's try that out. And I think this looks super cool, to be honest. Maybe I'll place that up at the top. Yep, that looks much better. So now you can see we get this really cool look. I'm not really sure if we want the invert or not. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. You can also change the channels if you want to. So let's try the blue one. That looks super cool, I think. Let me make it short. Now let's preview this. I think this is looking pretty cool. So, yep, I think that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learn how to create some really cool brushstroke title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys miss me, then you can follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then. Take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.